Now I'm going to show you how the setting works. So we double press M button, we go to the setting menus. We have P1 to P14. And the P1 is for the riding mode, advanced settings. Each mode have the have seven subjects you can set up. The P2 is the brightness of the dashboard. The P3 shows 13 here. It means the time that you not touching scooters and it will automatically turn off. P4 is mile per hour or kilo per hour. P5 is voltage. P6 is the magnet on the motor. You don't have to change that. P7. P7. P7 P7 is how the mode, how the scooter start. If you turn P7 to one. And this PAS mark will show up, and the throttle does not engage anymore. And only if the wheel is passing 4 kilo per hour, it will be engaged the throttles. If you dislike it, you just turn off the P7. PA is tire size, P9. P9 is cruise control. So we turn on the cruise control. And we got cruise control mark here. And uh, how cruise control works is 按一下, 转把按一下. You have to keep the throttle, keep the throttle and press the minus button at the same time. Now you have the own signal show on the dashboard and the speed keeping in certain amount like running around. And by this time, if you push plus button, the speed will be increased and increased and if we minus button, the speed will be reduced. And to get out the cruise control, you can press the throttle again, or pull the lever on the handlebar, on the, on the lever. And uh, for the P10, P10, uh, P10 shows the, P10 shows the two circuit. There's two circle here, shows the wrong, the current running through the controller to the motors. The P10 basically shows if you want this two circle turn on or if you want this two circle turn off. The P11 shows the maximum current on the controller. It doesn't change the maximum output, it's only using for the calculation of the two circles. P12 is temperature put protector limit for the motors right now. The temperature limit is set up 155 degrees. With normal ride, you can normally get to 90 degree max, but the limitation is 155. P13 is 25. Here is the setting related to the automatic enter E motors, E modes. When the battery percentage here is below 25, the scooter will automatic change to the E mode and you cannot turn to other modes so you can safely go back home. However, you could set the number lower if you want and if you need. And P14 is setting up the password. I have made a video to show you how the password needs to be set. It. Let's go to let's go to the advanced setting on the P1. So, for example, we are in X mode right now. We double press M again. Uh, this P1.1. Mm. P1.1 shows the rear motor. Rear motor acceleration force. There is five levels. And the five means the, the strongest acceleration at the beginning. And P1.2 shows the front motor acceleration force. You could address two motors to be different. And the P3 shows the maximum current allowed into the rear motor. This is the percentage, so 100%. And if you want front motor to be a little bit less, you can just go to 90 or 80. It does make a difference. And the P1.5 is the speed limit. This is also percentage, 100% means there's no speed on this mode. P1.6 is the e-brake force. There's six number here. Zero means no brake, no e-brake. 
uh, the 5 means the maximum e-brake force. There's P1.7 is turbo force. We 0 means no turbo. If we set to 5, and we got turbo here. Turbo mark shows up here. And to engage the turbo, you have push the throttle. And in the same time, you press the plus buttons. The ohm shows up, release the throttle. And now the maximum speed will be increased. And uh, also the current from the controller to the motor is much bigger. So I do not suggest you to turn on for the normal ride. And as you can see, I set up the turbo on to be X mode. If I switch to the same mode, the turbo is turned off. Thank you for watching.